Hello and welcome to RTC on Channel 4. I'm Abby Malko and here with me today is Rochester Zebra Head Boys Basketball Coach, Coach Reinholt. How are you, Coach? Doing great today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So far, your team is has a record of 1-2 and two in the 2013-2014 season and you have a game coming up soon. Even though it's early in the season, what are some characteristics that you've seen from your team so far? You know, some characteristics that I really like with our guys, you know, up to this point in the season is um, they're very coachable. Uh, we get a lot done in practice. Um, we're working into, you know, getting all of our defensive in. We didn't uh, get all of that in last year with it. Uh, but they're very coachable. They, they work hard. They make uh, each other accountable for their actions in practice. Um, and, and, and we're getting better every day in practice as far as our schemes and our rotations. And so I'm pleased with, you know, what they're doing, you know, in practice defensively. And speaking of defense, do you have a quick group that will pressure the opponent or will you stay back in a zone with some big guys? You know, with, with this year's team, you know, kind of comparing it to last year's team, we have more depth at the at the guard position. We're a little more quicker, a little more athletic on, on the perimeter. So uh, we're going to get up, you know, and, and do our traditional half-court traps that we n normally do. And then we'll, we'll uh, from time to time, pick teams up full court. We'll throw some zone, but then we'll go back to our bread and butter, which is man-to-man. -man. And though it's early in the season, if you had a weak spot right now that you really need to work on, what would that be? We'll be our guards out front. We've got to do a better job of uh, handling the basketball. Uh, first couple of games, we, we played against some some really good guards out front with Plymouth and theirs and, and Culver with the Elliott kid up there. So they really pressured us hard and uh, challenged our ball handling. Uh, we were in the upper teens, low 20s for turnovers. And then we got to Winnemac uh, and only had 10. So it's, it's it's an aspect that we work on a lot in practice, our ball handling and, and handling pressure. And that's probably a weakness right now that we need to solidify going into the stretch of the season. And if you had a one strength to rely on right now to pick up some of the turnovers, what would that be? You know, I would say, um, you know, our rebounding. I think we do a good job rebounding. Uh, we've out-rebounded everybody we've played this year. Uh, just uh, come up short a little bit on the first two. But I think our rebounding, our size, uh, and athleticism is what kind of makes up for those turnovers. And mental toughness and being super competitive is what accompanies a lot of winning teams. Would you say that that describes your team and do you work on that? You know that it does. We we are getting mentally tougher. Uh, this guy, a bunch of guys that we've got this year, haven't had a ton of success through their career uh, here at Rochester, and it's something that we're developing. You know, as we go through the mental toughness, the the expectations that we want to win every time we step on the floor, uh, floor and compete at the highest level. So, um, you know, the mental toughness it's getting there. Uh, fighting through some tough parts of practice. They enjoy the games because it's a lot easier than practice. <laughs> they've told me. Uh, so they're they're excited for game nights. Uh, I know they'll be ready for this uh, this Friday and Saturday when we go on the road. But uh, you know. We're developing that. Uh, we're getting that through the program. It's a philosophy that, that we've got to develop so we're, we're mentally tough and we can go into, you know, a hostile environment, you know, and come out on top. And I think a lot of that has to do with captains or senior leadership. Do you have, you want to name your captains, kind of talk about your leaders and how that works? Yeah, our, our captains this year is uh, Luke Kennedy and Carter Screeton. You know, they do a great job, you know, in the summertime, getting things, you know, in line, getting guys there, making guys accountable for their actions. And then, you know, during the during the season, um, you know, getting guys in drills, getting things sped, uh, sped up. You know, so we're moving along in practice in the locker room. They do a good job of taking care of things in the locker room, keeping the, the, the pace and keeping the peace inside there, and then also touching base with me and letting me know if there's some things that I need to address. So, you know, we've got five seniors. Uh, those two guys are our, our captains, and they lead us in practice, and, and uh, they just work, work really hard and they, they take pride in you know being captains and being leaders you know taking over for John and Seth that left last year for us you know it's it's a it's a big leadership role and they do a good job of filling that leadership for, role for us and leadership is very important especially now you guys have had a you're in the middle of a 10-day break from your last game to your next game and not only do you have a 10 game break but you have your first conference game on Friday and a double weekend and you're on the road twice and so far you haven't won on the road yet so a lot going on right now a big break how do you guys plan on approaching this in practice and just your mentality yeah well coming into the season we came off uh, pretty quick you know and into it and we we're pretty intense with our practice because we had a lot of things that we wanted to get in uh, this 10 days off we've, we've done some team building things We've had a night or two off where we've worked on some stuff outside of the floor, uh, but coming back and then really just solidifying our, our half-court man-to-man defense, uh, working on our half-court traps, you know, s you know, tweaking some of those things, looking at our rotations, just getting more reps is what we needed to do. Um, and then on the offensive side of things, you know, we've really worked on our offensive sets. I don't think our continuity uh, has always been there. Uh, our timing's off. We have some guys learning some new sets, new guys uh, coming in and playing some new roles with Brett Abbott and, and Alec Holland playing a major minutes for us this year. It's just getting that chemistry down. So these last 10 days that we've been off, uh, it's been good for us. It's been a welcome break to guy, have the guys take a little break because once we hit January and February, we really go fast with two, if not three games a week.
And that's good that you can take the break and practice on things, like you said, the weaker spots that you need to. If someone were to come to a boys basketball game and pick one way to define your team right now, what would be the one word or the one aspect that really defines Rochester Zebra basketball? That's a good question. I, I, you know, I'm hoping that uh, if someone were to sit down and watch, you know, and and have a have a good understanding of the game and watch them play, that my guys play hard and they play with a lot of pride. You know, they, they take a lot of pride in the way they play and how hard they play. Uh, we're not always the most skilled team on the floor, but you know, I expect them to, to play hard and play with enthusiasm uh, and to wear that zebra uniform with pride as we step on the floor and, and say, hey, you know, these guys give it everything they've got. Yes, I agree that that would be something great and like every team strives for and especially coaches. Well, we wish you good luck this weekend. You know, you got a big weekend. Hopefully you can get your first wins on the road and start out with a good conference season. Hey, thank you. Have a great holiday. Thank you, Coach. And this has been RTC on Channel 4. I'm Abby Malko here with Coach Reinholdt wishing the boys basketball team good luck on their season. Thank you.